Abundance Through Community Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 481. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Uh, this is our June 12th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is abundance through community living. And when we talk about abundance through community living, we talk about more of the things that people like and want in their lives and making that accessible to anybody. And we feel that that is more possible through community living, and we're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of comprehensively sustainable community living to provide that. And so, and we talk about this every week, so I'll go over it again. You know, we take the physical foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as food, energy, and housing, and everybody's familiar with those, and we combine those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to education, economics, and truer stewardship. And we're taking all these things and putting them together to create a comprehensively more fulfilling way of living for anybody that's interested. And we're creating all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate all aspects of what it is that we're creating and that you can see in the background of this video as either the complete community model or as individual components. And so when we talk about abundance through community living, the model of one community has been designed to create more free time and more things to do with that free time than traditional living models. And the way that we accomplish that is through radically reducing the cost of living and providing and through community collaboration, cooperative approaches to daily living habits and things that most that take up a lot of most people's time so that they take up less time. And so for instance, for instance, um, things like shopping and laundry and cleaning and childcare can all be handled from a community perspective collaboratively. Um, same thing with food preparation. You know, three or four people can prepare, prepare food for 50 people, whereas normally it might take one person or two people to prepare food for three or four people. You know, and so through improvements in efficiency like that and through a community model that that prioritizes recreation and socialization activities, things that are fun and creating a more enjoyable environment, we can provide more things to do in the environment and more free time to do those things than traditional environments. And so we call this luxury community living. You know, it's living the lifestyle of a millionaire without having to have a million dollars. You know, it's being able to walk outside of your door and know that you have 50 or 100 different things that you can do, people that are running activities, organizing activities, creating things to do that you can participate in. It costs no money. It's all within walking distance. And it's just right there available. And so this is what one community is designed to create. It's looked at like the cruise ship model and at the club med model and at vacation models and said, well, what if we created an environment that was living the vacation experience. You know, what is it that people want when they go on vacation? There's a lot of different diversity, diverse ideas about what that is. And so we said, well, let's create an environment where whatever people's ideas of what recreation looks like can be applied within that environment more effectively than they can in other environments. And so this is what one community is doing. And so the social architecture, and you can read all about this on the website, is designed right into the community model. It's designed right into the, the cooperative, collaborative, uh, contribution model for keeping one community operating and it's optional but it's built into the model and the idea is that everybody contributes a little bit of time sharing whatever it is that they're most passionate about it's almost like an accountability model for the things that you love to do anyway you know maybe it's playing with your kids maybe it's going on a nature walk maybe it's some sport maybe it's some activity maybe it's debate or a book club it could be anything it could be pottery it could be basket weaving it could be art anything that people are interested in, music, you know, and the idea is to build that into the fabric of community so that people have more of the things that they want right there available to them. And so, and then also looking at abundance from a physical standpoint, like more tools and toys and things that people like 
to have access to but don't necessarily need to own. So for instance, you don't really need to own a table saw as long as you always have access to a table saw. You don't even need to own a, a vacuum cleaner as long as you always have access to a vacuum cleaner. And so through pooling our resources and, and, and creating a tool library, we can do that as well. You know, it's, we can provide a, a workshop that would be better than what almost everybody has at home. You know, we can provide more things like jet skis and motorcycles and quads and vehicles, all of that stuff through cooperation, collaboration, managing that on the community level so that everybody doesn't need to own these things. And so one, you know, jet ski could, could be usable by, you know, a hundred people. And as long as you have enough access to those things for the people that want to use them, then you have sufficient availability so that anytime somebody wants something like that, I mean, almost anytime, they would have access to that, you know? And if you want to change that almost any time to any time, then you go, oh, well, there's more demand than we have supplies for, so let's pool our resources and increase the supply to meet the demand, you know? And so this idea of abundance through community living, it's not really that radical of an idea. You know, like families are already doing this. Families are already creating more abundance through family living. How do they do that? Well, they pool their resources to be able to buy food. They pool their resources to be able to buy the recreational, you know, items and toys and tools, whatever it is that people want, you know, the family wants, they're pooling their resources to provide that. Well, if you have two or three or four or five or six families doing the same thing, now you have less need for stuff with equal access. You know, and the same thing, if you have one family planning recreational activities, that's one family putting all their resources into, hey, this is what we want to go do to have fun. Now imagine if you have two or three or four or five or six families working together and doing the same thing. It only takes one family to really plan a huge activity and then all families can participate in this. Well, community is beyond just families. It's, you know, individuals, it's families, you know, whatever, whatever family dynamic can be involved with in this environment. And so we can create this abundance through community living that provides more of the stuff that people want and more things that people want to do. And again, through collaborating on the things that require a lot of time, like shopping, like childcare, you know, like cleaning, like laundry, and working together on those things, we can also provide more free time to experience those things as well. And so I talk about a millionaire lifestyle or luxury community living. That is the foundation of what it is that we're talking about. The idea being that through working together, we can reduce the cost of living, the expenses of living, and the time cost of living. And at the same time, we can provide more of the things that really bring us joy. And the one community model in open sourcing and free sharing all of this is that the more fun that we're having, the more we're enjoying our experience, and the more we share that experience, the more successful one community will be. And so the model is not only designed to provide this amazing living experience, it actually thrives more, the more we share our abundance, the more abundant we will be. And open sourcing and free sharing that is to create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of organizations doing this. So there's even more variety for people that want to travel and have these types of experiences as well. You know, and creating that global cooperative and collaborative of communities around the world, working to create even more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and, you know, the foundations for creating it all the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living practices, the highest good approaches to education, the economic model, truer stewardship, putting all of that together in a model that is replicable anywhere in the world and adaptable for the differing, the diverse needs of humanity everywhere, for all of humanity, for tribe humanity, for family humanity. This is what we're up to. So we're 100% volunteer organization, we're a nonprofit organization, we're a non-governmental organization, we're creating this because we want to live this way and because we see it as a pathway to creating global sustainability as a self-replicating model by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and everything I'm talking about, demonstrating that as what it is that we're creating so it's attractive enough to spread on its own. Because once people see a model that is better than the way they're living right now, and we clear away those barriers, that friction to participation, then the idea will spread virally just like anything else that is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to do so. So this is what we're creating. This is what we're all about. So 
like this sort of thing, you like a weekly dose of positivity, uh, subscribe, ring that bell so you get notifications. If you'd like to see specifics, details of everything that it is that we're creating, that we've created for the last week, uh, visit our written blog. If you'd like to see the specifics and details of all our open source content, explore our website. There is so much there. And of course, if you'd like to get involved and help us out, either donate or become a volunteer, contribute to our project, uh, visit our helping page on our website. There's lots of different ways. There's ways for everybody to participate in some way. And um, yeah, of course, the easiest way to participate is just to like this video and leave a comment and say that you like what we're doing. So with that said, uh, thanks for watching till the end. Stick around for another couple of minutes if you'd like to see bullet points of all the major components of our project. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on as we work towards this open source model and template for abundance through community living. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.